Hi, today I want to test some NeoPixel or WS2812 libraries for the ESP32. And certainly this is not a complete overview and also an arbitrary collection of libraries. This is my setup for today. I using the ground and the 5 volt rail from the USB power supply. So it's just looped through the ESP development board, but it's not part of the circuit beside the voltage regulator. And I'm using GPIO pin 22 to steer the WS2812B chips. So let's start by open the Arduino IDE and I'm using the version 1.8 Point one, and I'm just opening the library manager from the sketch library and I'm searching for the NeoPixel library. The first I found I used the Adafruit NeoPixel library WS2812 and I've installed the library version 1.1.1. So let's open one of the example files. And maybe we use the strand test just for an example. And we have to change this pin. I use pin 22. And maybe we have to change the number of pixels. At the first glance, I don't see it. So let's do an upload. And while we are compiling, I show you my parameters. I use the ESP32 development board, 80 megahertz, this upload speed, and I use the maximum available upload speed, and I'm using TTY USB 0. So we've already uploaded the example and the pixels are running. We have a nice rainbow effect. So no issues with this library. So let's continue with the next example. So I close this one. Next library. Open the library manager again. And this time we can use the NeoPixel Painter version 1.00. And then we have also the example files for the NeoPixel Painter. So maybe this LED strip animation. And as we see, we also have to install the Adafruit NeoPixel library. So this is relying on the other first tested. And we have, of course, to change the pixel pin and also the number of pixels I'm today I'm only using 16 so this have to be enough and just compiling some warnings but I think this there's no issue with the compiling so we are flashing and D moves running nice and smoothly so let's close this and the next library I use is also a new pixel library so this NeoPixel bus from Makuna already mentioned in the last video and I've installed the version 2.2.7. So let's open the examples for this library and maybe we use the NeoPixel fun loop. So also we have to change the pixel pin and pixel count is okay. So let's install it and we're compiling the code some warnings but we are flashing but maybe sometimes we get a little bit flicker on some random leds and i don't think this is kind of the demo maybe this is some timing issue with this library so let's look at the next example and i already prepared one sketch for this example because this is only available at github and this is from a demo from Martin MacGyver. So let's see, we have also pin 22 and number of pixels is 16. So let's compile this. And as you see in the background, we also have some CPP and .h files. So now it's running nice and smoothly. So the next one I, so next one I used the 
I use this Octo WS2811, but it also claims to be for the WS2812 chips and WS2812B. So this is version 1.2.0 and we open the example for this library. So maybe we try, we try this basic test example and let's see what we are doing. We just have 16, but this is not for one strip and we cannot compile this for the ESP32. So this goes out of the contest and we try the next library. And this time I search for WS2812 and I find this Pinduino library version 1.00. But we have already a flag. This is not compat compatible for our ESP32. So I can open it and just try a compile, but we get an compile error. So this is also out of our range from the library test. Next one, I search for WS2812 and find this Polulu stri LED strip library version 4.2.0. And let's test this one. Maybe do this rainbow test. And we also search for the pin. Maybe this is pin 22. And the LED count is 16. And then just we can also not compile this library. So this is also a fail. So next library. Next, I test this XLR8 NeoPixel library. So let's test this example. But also we have a flag incompatible. So maybe this is also an indicator that our library don't work for the ESP32. And now I switch to the Eclipse IDE and use the libraries for the ESP IDF and we can see what there's going on. So first I will start with a library from Nycobin and I already prepared the example files. So this is a little bit out of the contest because you don't have any example files, just the raw library. And you have to write your own example file. And maybe as you see here, I've done it already. And Let's start with this one. So I also use some rainbow colors, fading lights and so on. You have, can have a look into the example file. And let's do a compiling. We compile our code, then flash it. Now we have a very nice and smoothly demo. Some fading lights and so on. So let's close this and prepare the next example file. This one is from Chris Osborne and we have a full running demo for th with this library. So let's do a compiling and flash the demo. And excellent, everything is running. And now the next demo with this Marty MacGyver and it's based on the library from Chris Osborne with some improvements. So, so the library can also run under Arduino IDE or inside this ESP IDF. So let's close the other demo and compile this library and flash it to our ESP32. So runs fine. And that's it for today. And today you can get another giveaway from analoglamp.com. Just read the terms and condition in this video or in the description. And this is my summary. We tested the Adafruit NeoPixel library, a library from Chris Osborne, a Marty MacGyver library, the Easy NeoPixel library that's used the Adafruit NeoPixel library, the Nebo Pixel Bus from Makuna, a library from Niall Colben, the 
NeoPixel Painter library and also some other libraries, but unfortunately for the ESP32 they are not compatible. And here are some other facts for the libraries. The Adafruit NeoPixel library are released under the GNU public license number three and it uses the CC count special register to do the exact timing for the NeoPixel LEDs. And the library from Chris Osborne and also the related one from Marty MacGyver are released once under the, the Creative Common license or MIT license and also uses a raw register centric programming using the remote functionality from the ESP32. That's not very good documented. Next one beside the Adafruit related libraries are the NeoPixel bus that is using the Bitbang called technology. So it, it relies on some assembler code that produces some time delay, but in some cases this is not so reliable. And last but not least the library from Niall Colbin. It uses also the remote functionality but with the driver from the ESP IDF and beside the fact there's no example this is my favorite library because it's absolutely reliable and we can use the functionality from the ESP chip with the drivers from Espressif. Thanks for watching today. I hope you find this interesting, useful or you learned something. I wish you a wonderful day. See you next time and bye bye.